day. I opened my eyes in my childhood room today. This is the place, this is the room where I lived my whole childhood, where I grew up, and that's the room from where I moved to the US. As you can see, I was absolutely obsessed with moving to America and building my life there. I was 16 years old and, and this place has such a special place in my heart because my whole family lives here and it just brings me back in time every time I visit this place. And, and actually right now I wanna show you some things in this room that make this room so special to me and remind me about who I truly am and my childhood a lot. Well, the first thing obviously is the USA flag. I put it on my wall the moment I was accepted to American high school and I was dreaming to go to this school as soon as possible and I was like going to bed and waiting for that moment to happen. And the next special thing is this Polaroid like wall decoration that I did when I was like 14 years old and it's on the wall since then. I basically use it as my vision board and the craziest thing is that almost everything became my reality. I was signed with this agency as a model. I worked as a model, found my best friend and this girl, she still is my best friend, but I have another best friend that is going through life with me right now. And this is me at my dad's office when I was like 13 years old. He wanted to take a picture of me and then, I mean, right now I, quite became a girl boss, <laughs> not gonna lie. Wait, wait a second. This used to be my dream view from an apartment in the future and in my apartment in New York City, this is pretty much the view to the city. <laughs> I was dreaming to have Michael Kors stuff and I worked with Michael Kors as an influencer for so many times. So basically almost everything I imagined, everything I dreamed about, did become reality. And you know, I actually think about it a lot. Like all the dreams that we have, they don't come to us as a coincidence. All the dreams that we have, we receive them because we meant to have them. We meant to leave them. It's just the fears that we have are stopping us from living our dreams, but we are meant to live what we are dreaming about. <laughs> the next thing that is special to me in this room is this New York art piece <laughs> that I also purchased in the same time I wanted to move to New York City. So this always reminds me about my 15, 16 years old self. Also this little note on my wall is here since I was like 16 years old and it's still here, which says do what you can't. I hope it stays here as long as it can. It's crazy, but when I open all of these drawers, they're all filled with my childhood stuff, like with notebooks from school, with pictures and albums of pictures like me in my childhood in a kindergarten. It is just simply crazy. Also right here, I have my childhood journal, which I started when I was 12 years old. Uh, look at this. This is literally an art piece. I was so soft and creative. Like, ugh, I just truly miss this time of my life. <laughs> I also have this custom made box, which I did in like one of the art classes at school, which says New York, obviously. I was so brainwashed and just obsessed with America and New York. So it was not even an option for me. I went there as soon as I could. And in here I keep my childhood jewelry and nothing too crazy or expensive, but it's expensive because of the memories. Also this portrait is such an important part of my childhood. I received this as a gift on my sweet 16 from my family and friends. And also when you look up here, this is my biggest childhood achievement because it's my YouTube button from the first YouTube channel that I ever opened. So it always warms my heart when I find it here, when I come back home. You guys know what's actually the coolest thing in my parents' house? Whenever I have dirty laundry, I don't need to go to the washing machine and like drop it to the laundry. This is what I do and did the whole childhood. So I go to the bathroom, I take my dirty laundry with me, I open the secret spot, and I throw it in there and it goes right into the laundry room and the washing machine. How sick! <laughs> My whole childhood I was so scared to fall into that hole, but thank God it never happened. <laughs>
such a blissful Sunday morning you guys it's 11 a.m. and I'm still slowly waking up I just had my breakfast and I'm sitting outside finishing my tea my mom brought apples from our garden and I just feel so much gratitude and peace inside of me because think about it your home your family is probably the only place in the world where you can be accepted for who you are I just don't need to wear any masks I can be whoever I am I can feel grumpy I can feel upset depressed whatever you're feeling and you're at home people who truly love you they will accept you for who you are so whenever you're going through something difficult and you go back home your family will accept you whenever you're happy your family is gonna be happy for you it, I just feel so much gratitude for having a family and being home right now why am I saying this is because I just see how much I've changed for the past few years and Nastia a few years ago she would spend her summer with friends and she would try to you know travel and go to these luxurious trips and be on boats and and I would plan all these cool trips with my friends and prioritize my friends and think that being with my family in the summer and not doing anything is just boring and I'm losing and wasting my life and my youth but now I'm literally happy to waste my time at home and just be with my family not wear any makeup, not wear heels, not go clubbing I mean I've never been a big party person but it's that I'm just maturing and realizing that family is where I want to be and after I'm visiting my mom, I'm going to visit my dad. Unfortunately, they're not together, but all I'm doing this summer is just spending time with my family and the people that I love the most. Interesting fact about me, every morning I sit down and I talk to ChatGPT about different things and I have like different folders. Sometimes I just wake up and I feel upset and I go and type in, give me some morning Bible reads and I just read some psalms and bible sometimes i practice my italian or french because you can easily ask chat give you 10 or 20 new sentences to learn in italian or practice grammar or practice exercises like i'm gonna give you an example look so here i have my italian practice and it goes all the way up i have a long conversation with chat gpt <laughs> so for example this morning i asked for some common polite sentences in italian and it gave me some sentences to practice and i'm gonna be reading and practicing them right now i swear to god i used to prioritize my italian teacher and i would have two or three classes a week but now chat gpt saves me so much money you guys like literally anything you need anything you want it can give you an answer right away you have to be very precise and very accurate with the words that you're using and the more information about yourself about your problem you're giving to ChatGPT, the better the answer you will receive same in life god is in the details you have to be very precise with what you're asking for <laughs> guys it was so sunny and then literally out of nowhere it started raining like crazy wow look at this beautiful summer rain it's so cozy to be inside and watching rain <laughs> Okay, so this part of the video should be me effortlessly going for a run in a beautiful forest after eating a healthy breakfast and studying my languages and doing yoga on a mat in a beautiful setting and telling you, keep inspiring you, how beautiful it is to live a healthy lifestyle. Fuck no, I was contemplating for two freaking hours if I should go on a run or not because I felt so groggy, so unmotivated this morning. I just literally wanted to lay down with Laska and spend a day on the couch and be a fat ass watch movies like I feel like I'm still sleeping like my eyes are still closed but it's 12 p.m. and three years ago I would literally be so mean to myself telling myself things like you're being unproductive you should start your day like what are you doing with your life like get your shit together go to a workout like you're wasting your life everyone's ahead of you I used to really think that being this strict parent to myself and having this crazy discipline is a form of self-love and I was so wrong because I was harming myself I was 
was hurting myself i wasn't helping myself in any shape or form when really loving yourself is being a cool parent to yourself and being a cool parent to yourself is when you tell yourself listen you have a choice today you can go to the gym you cannot go to the gym it's up to you bro you can eat healthy you cannot eat healthy it's up to you bro the results the life that you're gonna get if you choose not to do it it's your responsibility if you talk to yourself like that inside of your head you automatically are gonna have motivation to do it because you're gonna be like oh wait no one's pressuring me no one's asking me to do stuff no one's telling me you have to do this you have to work out you need to eat this you need to eat that and you can't do this you can't do that you're literally telling yourself you have a choice and it's up to you but when you choose to stop this stupid war inside of yourself and be on the same team with your own mind and body your whole life changes i'm just so tired of fighting with myself and thinking that my mind and my body constantly need to choose and and fight and do something against each other when they're actually on the same team and now when i promised myself yesterday that i'm gonna go for a run and i didn't want to do it this morning i was like listen you can stay home you don't have to go you don't need to do it but are you gonna achieve the results that you want the life that you want are you gonna feel good if you skip this workout today no i just know that i'm gonna end up feeling like crap today if i don't work out i just know that i'm gonna eat probably much more food and i'm gonna crave sweets at night if i don't work out I just don't know why but it's how I am so I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it 20 30 minutes I'm down that's all I have to do and if I want to go back home and not run at all I can still do it but I'm just gonna get out of the house and see how I feel put on my favorite music and I'm gonna prioritize feeling uncomfortable right now in order to have the life that I want later so here we are in the forest in the middle of nowhere going for a run <laughs> How much more energized and happy and just joyful I feel. Oh my god. I'm just dying to go take that cold shower. It's like the best feeling in the world. And also for those who break out after you sweat a lot, I have a really cool life hack. I use this SOS spray for from Tower 28. I don't have it right now, but I love using that spray whenever I sweat a lot and it kills all the bacteria after i sweat and it prevents me from breaking out and having you know this nasty pores and and pimples so i really really love this product but actually before i take shower i'm gonna go sit in the sauna i'm so privileged to say that we have um, an infrared sauna at home and i'm so freaking lucky to say that but we have this super cool sauna here it's small but you just turn it on Oh, and I sit here for like 20 to 30 minutes to just break more sweat before I go take a shower. I would just grab a book, listen to a podcast, or just meditate in silence. And it helps you to sweat even more, so you really get rid of all the toxins in your body. And after like 10, 15 minutes here, I'm gonna go take that shower. shower but I'm gonna show you how I exfoliate my face and these two ingredients that I mix and put on my face as an exfoliation mask or scrub that are literally in your kitchen right now changed my life and changed my skin I just take a little bit of baking soda you can start with like a little bit and honey it smells so good <laughs> I take a teaspoon of honey. If it's grainy like that, it's really good. It's also gonna scrub and exfoliate your face. I mix it with baking soda in my hand. If it's too thick, I would add a little bit of water and I just apply it on my skin for like two to three minutes. Be careful not to put it in your eyes, obviously. <laughs> on my forehead it works literally so much better than any cleanser clear the pores on your nose now i'm gonna wash it off with just warm water so here's my skin right after i washed it i feel like every time i do it it just removes these dead cells from my face and it's so natural you guys should try it and let me know because it works magic for me <laughs> Oh, 
girl dinner girl dinner my mom just came up with this amazing idea for dinner tonight so it's basically ground turkey some vegetables some parmesan cheese on top and we baked it for like 30 minutes and a little salad on the side this is our girl dinner right when i'm with my mama i don't cook i only <laughs> eat <laughs> you guys know what's the crazy thing is that I realized that in my whole life, me and my family, like my parents, while I was growing up, we never in my life ordered food in. Till today, we never had like a food or meal delivery to our house. Like we never had a night where we ordered pizza or sushi, which is a normal thing. But like, it's just not in my family's culture for some reason. And my love for like healthy meals, it's for sure because of my mom. Like we never had, thank God, like excessive processed foods and like unhealthy foods in our house. Like we were always super healthy as kids and that definitely formed me. Like it played such a huge role. And I'm so grateful to my parents for that. And for everyone who is telling that it's difficult and expensive to eat healthy, like it's not, right? Sunset time. <laughs> it literally took us like 30 minutes and it has like five ingredients and it's so delicious. Mama. So after dinner, we decided to just lay down all three of us, all three girlies. We decided to start watching Desperate Housewives. I've never watched this um, series and I just mentioned it to my mom. She's like, yeah, let's watch it. I'm so excited. I hope it's going to be interesting and I hope we binge watch it. Like we watched Bridgeton. We just finished like Bridgeton two weeks ago and it was so good. Mm -hmm. 